We are here in the startup area of Embedded World 2024, and I found something that has excited me hugely. Um, in the distant past, before I did interviews like this, I used to be a VJ at music festivals, and I've come across a, a piece of software that I find absolutely amazing. I'm here with Carlin from Duduke, who's going to take us through exactly what we're looking at here, because this is a, a music visualizer, but it does an awful lot more than that, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's a Duduk. It's a generative music visualization platform that allows music makers to create visuals within a minute and without having any professional skills. Mm -hmm. So AI just analyzing the music provides data to us and we are generating visuals using that data. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have several tools. First one is on a platform. You can, they can users go there and upload the music and get vi uh, license free videos. Mm -hmm. And the second tool is a real time tool which can be used in a offline events such as uh, parties, uh, concerts and so on. Uh, so Artists can perform in a stage and they can get real-time visualization in a background stage. Absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, and you were mentioning that this is uh, something that has had some really big real-world uses. You've, uh, you've used your live tech in a bunch of really large events, including the World Cup, right? Yeah, yeah. We, we've uh, created the prototype for the uh, World Cup in Qatar. So we were in uh, all eight stadiums there in a uh, tournament. And we were there performing uh, while the uh, like company uh, sorry uh, the football players are like playing and after the uh, game the fans were like, having fun using uh, the stage and using our uh, visualizations absolutely and um, and from my perspective one of the things I find so fascinating about this is that um, as Colin already mentioned, you can upload music and you can get a, a video generated for you, and it can be used live as well. But for those of you that like to get hands-on and actually uh, uh, actually affect things live, there's a bunch of things inside the software here that are assignable. So say you have a MIDI controller or you have an iPad or something, you can assign things that will tweak the image on the fly. It will still be synced to the music because that's what the software already does, but you're able to generate imagery. And this is uh, on the background here. It's just one example of what it can do. Um, and one of the reasons uh, we have this, there are other examples but they tend to look better when they are incredibly large and Colin showed me videos before of this exact software uh, and this exact kind of proje projection being used in absolutely huge concerts. I mean, you've done incredibly large things. What was the name of the building in Dubai that you've worked on yesterday? Burj, yeah. yeah, the name of Burj Khalifa. Yeah. Burj Khalifa is like tallest building in the world. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. we've done in several th uh, several buildings like such as Garni Temple in Armenia. We've done this for uh, churches. We were doing mapping on a church yeah. and the artists were performing uh, in, uh, in front of the building and we are taking that music in the real time and performing uh, like generating animations in, on a background. Sure, yeah. Yeah, thanks so much. Yeah, this is this is mind-blowing to me. This is a real blast from the past but using the most modern kind of technology. Um, and if you would like to find out more, if you uh, if you search for Duduk, that's yeah. D-O-O-D-O-O, -O -O, uh, oh yeah, D-O-O-D-O-O-C.com and you'll be able to find out everything else you need to find out about it. Thank you so much for your thanks time so today. Much. That was great.